Rose from Las Vegas, Nevada, and this is the Rosie O'Donnell Show. On today's show, Super Kid Diet Cox, Luciana Pavarotti, and Tay Diggs. Hit, Hit it, John! Nice to meet you. How are you, buddy? Sure, everyone can hug me. It's the Huggy family. How are you? Look like you're karate experts, huh? Oh, you got it. Yep. You're black belts. Yes, the right. children are. I'm low rank. You're a brown belt. <laughs> got you. Now, you guys are raising money for breast cancer awareness through Taekwondo karate. Thing. That's right. Yes. Right. Lord yeah. Breaks for the Cure benefits the Susan G. Komen Breast Cancer Foundation. 700 karate schools across the country, the students get pledges for the month of October, and then they board break for a whole hour. And how'd you come up with this idea, Mom? Well, we take Taekwondo, and the teacher kind of felt bad that sometimes I miss class, and the kids have to miss class because of my breast cancer, and he wanted to help, and before you knew it, it was across the country. Excellent. That's a wonderful thing. How much did you raise last year? We raised almost 100000 and this year we're going to try to... We're going to try for a quarter of a million. We're going to try for a quarter of a yeah, million. That's yeah, a lot of boards to break, today. buddy. All right, now these are real legitimate old boards here. That you're going to karate chop this board. Right. All right, well, you hold actually, it. Actually, I kick it. You're going to kick yeah. chop. Or hold on, I'm going to kick chop that board. You ready, Troy? Don't kick. Don't think because you're a kid, I won't try to, you know, hurt you. Because, <laughs> you know, I'm not yeah, like that. You know what? Back. I ripped my son's book in half. I heard about that. Oh, no. You better watch. I did. Can you believe? <laughs> okay, here you go. Yeah! Let me well, try it again. Wait, wait, wait. That was a really yeah. good. Yeah. All right, so obviously okay, it's not as easy as it looks. Right? All right, let's let you guys try it. Okay, let me see okay. this, all right? Are you ready, Mr. Ashcroft? Oh, yes. Oh, you oh, want to yeah. go first? Oh, you want to go first, all right. Uh, you ready? Yeah. Oh! Wow! wow. <laughs> That's very impressive. <laughs> Thank you. Troy, are you ready? Yep. That's yep. why they have the black belt. That's early. very. And when did you start doing this? <laughs> Three years ago. Oh my 10. goodness! All right, sweetie, you ready? ready? Don't forget to. Yell. Yeah. Oh man! Nice job. Excellent job. I'm very proud of you. You know my. You want to try again? Do you think I could? Mom, you hold it. All right. Oh, yeah. I'll really actually try. Is there a secret? Let's well, see what's the up. secret, sweetie? The secret is if you thrust through it, if you. Take power not just from your arm, but yeah. through your whole body. Take my whole body power. Okay. <laughs> my whole body's a you lot of power. A little torque there. A little torque? A little thrust and torque. <laughs> All righty. <laughs> okay, here we go. Are you ready? The board. With this part of your hand? Well, you could do it. What did with, you use? What, what I used is I used my elbow. Yeah, that's what I'm going to be using. Okay, okay Are ready? You ready Rosie? Yeah, I'm ready. <laughs> ah! That was, it was a that really was, good yeah, thing. Yeah. I'm just going to keep this and I'm going to practice and I'm going to let you know if I can okay. ever do it. The Ashbaugh family, thank you very much. Great job. Nice to meet you, sweetheart. Good luck. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hope you make a lot of money. Uh, say hello to John McKee and the TLT. John, that's hard to do, that man. Is really what looks is that really about? Do you think they had trick boards? Did I... you guys have trick boards? No. I don't right. I think it's yeah. real. I'm going to practice that. All right. It only takes about 10 years to learn. How right. are you, Mr. McDade? Excellent. Excellent. Yeah? What'd you do last night? I've got to tell you, well, a couple of nights ago, I saw the funniest show I have seen in such a long time Dame Edna, the Royal Tour. Have you oh, heard about this? I've heard it's phenomenal. So funny. So funny. I can't even. I, I actually lost my voice laughing. Really? Yes. It's wonderful. You'll love it. I'm definitely going to go see that. You That's going to be. Love, love it. Fabu. I love Dame Edna. Yes. I've never met funny. him, her. Have you? No, I haven't. No. But it's really, it's, you get to know him, her a little bit. Yes. <laughs> 
well. <laughs> yes, you do. <laughs> Sounds enjoyable to me. Um, so what's going on for me? Let me see. Yeah, what is? First of all, Yo Play Yogurt. Did you hear about this? They've got pink lids for the month of October. That's see that pink lid? You rip off the pink lid, you send it in. Save lids, save lives. They're going to donate up to a million dollars if wow. they get enough lids. So people, <laughs> you're buying yogurt. 56353 Excellent. So many things now with the <laughs> zip codes. Right. Used to just be 11725. Now it's 11725's L Tell 11 747 It's difficult. Yes. Um, so, what's oh. new with me? Let me see. Um, nothing really. I'm no. very good at pumpkin carving, apparently. Oh, yeah? You I don't want to be boastful or sound, no. you know. Well, what? Well, what I happened? had Jackie over with her kids and my kids, and right. we went to the pumpkin patch. We picked out the pumpkins, uh -huh. came home. And I was just sitting there, and they said, you want to carve one? So as I was talking to the grown-ups, I was just on the porch carving it. Right. Now, I don't draw it first. I just carve. Sure. You know? And Pretty. then make it cute with, like, right. round eyes with a little half the eye and the eyebrows. And right. All of my friends were astounded. Really? Jackie was like, I cannot believe you could do that. I cannot believe you just did that. How can you do that? I'm like, is it really that shocking? I thought everyone could just sit and carve a pumpkin. Mm, no. All right, so, so we're going to be doing, starting next week, Monday we're going to do the eyes. Oh, cool. Tuesday, we're going to do eyebrows. We're going to teach people how to make a pumpkin That's in, in easy idea. steps. Because I'm telling you, it's easier than it looks. That's Jackie great. draws it. Oh, yeah. She draws it with a magic marker and then tries to cut around the drawn piece. Mm -hmm. What is up with that loser method? What is up with that? <laughs> I can show you how to do it. So we're going to do excellent. that. You know, I don't want to be bragging, John. I don't well, want to be, I'm not well, like that generally. No, you're not. No, you're not. But if you're I am. I'm like that. Who am I kidding? If I can do anything well, I show off on the show. Sure, of course I do. Um, Nestle Sweet Success, they're our sponsor for the Chub Club Games. And you know, there's uh, bars for everyone in the audience. Caramel, honey, nougat, chocolate candy bars. Very good. Tasty energy snack. And I just want to thank them because they've sponsored us the entire year for our Chub Club. We're going to have the Chub Club Games on December 1st. And I'm going to talk to all you guys in November about our Chub Club and how we've done. And, uh, you know... I had a big kick start in the summer. Yep. Did pretty well. Yep. I'm going to tell everybody all about it starting in November when we Great. do those up good. close and personal for the Chub Clubs. Okay, um, what else? How many long do I have? Two and a half minutes. Thank you, Rose. Love you. <laughs> nice. mm. Okay, um, <laughs> guess who's here today? Luciana Pavarotti. <laughs> Unbelievable. Really unbelievable. I met him at the Grammy Awards. He was very kind to me. Cool. Yes, he said, I'd like to see her backstage. I was like, wow. excellent. And I met him, and he's very touchy. I love that. Oh, yeah? Touched my face, touched me, gave me a kiss. The, you know, European. Of course. Double kiss. Kisses, that's exactly. Right. I want to thank Janet Jones, wherever she lives. She sent me the Halloween costumes for my kids, oh, yeah? which were so unbelievably intricate and, and gorgeous. And I just wanted to say thank you to her for sending those in, taking so much time to make them for me. Um, also, hey, this is a big thing. We're having a boob bag game at the end of the show. What's a right. boob bag game, you might ask? Well, we got a bean bag and we made it into a boob. You know, we put a big yeah. nipple on it. It's funny. Yeah. And then somebody from the audience is going to sit in the boob bag and have to answer 10 questions about breast cancer. Oh. If they get them right, the entire audience gets this coach watch. Look at that oh coach watch. God. Look at this. Oh, wow. It's beautiful. Very. And the reason that coach is doing that is not only to be kind, it's because coach has this beautiful pink special edition watch that's available at Macy's here in New York. It's over $300, and all of the profits go to the Susan G. Coleman Foundation. And they've given us three of them. I'm going to sign the packaging. We're going to put them up on eBay.com oh, after today's show, and all the money collected during this month will go to help fight breast cancer. So tune into that on your computer, all right? All right. If you get a mammogram, you get a free T-shirt. Don't say we never gave you nothing, because there it is. Don't be a boob. <laughs> Send in your um, receipt that you got a mammogram while you're at the bookstore. Pick up Bosom Buddies. It's my first adult book that I've written. I've written a couple kids' jokes on it. Right. Um, it's a great, it's all the things you need to know to keep your breasts healthy. And if you do get breast cancer, what you should do and prepare for if you do. But even if you don't, it's just um, informative and funny and there's lots of pictures of boobs, and it's really worth the, the price. Of it. <laughs> Frankly, that's worth the price. Uh, it's a good book, and all the profits there you go go to charity. And you know, speaking of boobs, um, this is this is really not a good segue. No. It's going to say, speaking of boobs, Chubby Checker, but he's not a boob. I don't no, know why I was not, even. Chubby he... Checker did the twist. How many years ago, Jeanette? Thirty-eight years ago today wow. on the Ed Sullivan Show for the first time. Right. So we tied that into breast cancer awareness. 
We didn't tie it well, but we tied it. And now I'm gonna try to do a little breast cancer song with dancing. October's almost over, don't worry. Okay, ready? Come on, ladies, let's do the squish. Oh, come on, ladies, so squeeze your knish. Oh, oh, put your boobies in a vice. It goes like this. Come on, sister, give your jugs a squeeze. Oh, oh, get off your keister. Put your mind at ease. Pick up the phone and call your doctor. Check out your chick of these. Woo! See what I scoop to? What you do. It's we got wonderful. a great show. Kay Diggs is with us today. Very handsome, wonderful young actor. Pavarotti and Jaya Cox, our super kid, is up right after this, so don't go away. when we can have another super kid story. We think you'll agree that this next young woman is overcoming incredible odds and really, really succeeding. Take a look. My name is Jayanthi. It means the victorious one or the one who conquers. I'm a sophomore at Cremont High School. My favorite subjects are English and radio broadcasting. I'm an honor student in English. I enjoy all the reading I have to do for it. But the dynamic character is the character who changes during the course of the story. My relationship with books started when my mom taught me how to read. X88. What sparked my interest in broadcasting was the fact that I don't have to be in front of a camera. Great voices are good, but it's just as great that you don't have to have the voice. It's a personality. Mr. Futrell impacted my life in different ways. He's actually a really cool guy. The first day I met Giant, I said, Giant, you're going to have to learn how to do something with your mouth and your brain. In radio, there are no barriers. That was Rod Stewart. You're so far away. That should be fine if I just leave a word. Being able to communicate with people is very important. Mostly sunny skies today. East winds at 5, a high of 83 degrees. One of the things I love to do is doing volunteer work for Healing the Children. Healing the Children program is kids that come all around the world for surgeries free of charge, and we take care of any family that wants to. I'm closest to my mom now. I have four adopted sisters that are all from different nationalities. I was adopted from India when at the age of three, almost four and I was moved to three different orphanages when I was younger because I was abandoned. That begins to, to teach a child nothing is permanent. Nobody can be trusted to be there forever. I got my mom pretty angry when I was younger because she'd try and fight to love me and I just would push her away. Jaya is charming, she is beautiful, but she has not been easy. Any little thing that you say no about would send her into spasms of terror. I was scared because there was new people, new places, new things. I have found that I simply have to say to her over and over again, I am not giving you away, period. We love each other. God loves us in a way we can't love each other. And we're just going to have to be held in that love and struggle it through. I am grateful for who I have and for my family. And I know that they, I should know that they're never going to leave me. If they haven't left me now, that they won't leave me now. I was born with spina bifida. Jaya does have spina bifida, the congenital injury of the spinal cord. In her case, that just means that she is paralyzed from around her knees down. She's had you know, several surgeries and um, now uses crutches and braces. The hardest thing with living with spina bifida is that I have to work really hard at school in order to do well. Jaya has the learning disabilities, which are kind of nonverbal. That is, she talks very well, but to understand abstract things, including mathematics, is very, very difficult. That she's an honor student in English is because she wants to be. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. 
I remember one time I was called sticks because of my crutches. I, I usually tell them, oh, shut up, it's not my fault. It hurts to be looked at differently. They see you as someone who's disabled and not someone who's thoughtful and kind and who is really smart and just has feelings. First off. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see you guys boo. You just have to get through the bad and leave the bad behind you. I think everybody knows I'm becoming the person I want to be. I win battles that nobody probably could. I'm keeping my grades up, trying hard to do that, so that I can get a good job and get into a college. I would tell people like myself to work hard and to try and not let people bring you down because they really don't know what you can actually accomplish until you do it. Please welcome super kid number seven, Jaya Cox. Nice to meet you, too. How are you? Great. You're so beautiful. Thank you. Everybody must tell you that, though. You probably get sick of hearing that. Well, sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> it was a very, very inspiring uh, story. It really was. What have you been doing since you've been in New York? Visiting? I mean, we saw the sights. We yeah. went to Mars. Um, the restaurant, restaurant March yes. 21, 12. Did you like it? Yes, I liked it. Yeah. It was something, I don't know. The ride was cool. I liked the ride, and then the restaurant itself was... Pretty cool. Couldn't yeah. see anything to eat, but it's yeah, really because, good. Well, it's dark. You're in Mars. You know, it's red and everything. Um, so do you have a job now after school? You have a job? Um, actually, I applied for a job. I have to put the application in, and hopefully I'll get the job. It's right by, by my house. At what, what place? Um, it's called Starbucks Coffee. There you go. That's known <laughs> to everybody with the little green awning. Yeah, that's a great place to work. And you can try to get a job so you can save up money for? For my car. For a car? Yes. What kind of car are you looking to get? I don't know yet. Something not flashy. <laughs> no. Something that'll be uh, good for you to drive to and back from school. Yeah. Yeah. Now, where are you applying to college? I haven't applied yet. You haven't? No. No. I'm too young to apply. You're still in 10th grade. You got another year before you have to apply. And what do you hope to study when you go to college? I hope to study radio broadcasting. Yeah. Well, what got you really into the radio? Um, when I moved here, my mom told me that there was this class and it was radio and that maybe I could do it and it'd be fun. So I said, okay, I'll take it. And I found out that Mr. Fertrell's in there, and it's a great class, and I learn a lot. Excellent. Now, uh, we talked to some of the DJs down at the early morning show on K97 FM in Memphis, and they said that they would like you to come down there and be a guest DJ on their morning program. Can you do that? Oh. <laughs> you think you could? I, I think so. I don't All know. All right, they said that if you could, I was supposed to give you the hat and oh the T-shirt. Only if you could, though. You know I, what I, I mean? Yeah, I think yeah. I can. <laughs> now, you've overcome a lot of obstacles, Jaya. What do you say to the kids out there who are struggling with whatever they feel is in their way? Um, I say to the kids out there to try hard, work, don't let anybody pull you down, and to shoot for your goals higher than you expect to. Because sometimes you surprise even yourself. Yes, exactly. I surprise myself. Got I want something for you. Oh, you got something for me? Yes. Let's see. Something. I hope you like it. I'm sure I will. Okay. It's an Elvis mug with oh. his Cadillac. Wow! Inside. I didn't have one of those. <laughs> we, we were hoping you did. Inside is his glasses. And Elvis glasses, come you had on! To put these, you had to put these on. Does it get better than this? His side button, put them on. Oh my gosh. This is too good, Jaya, look. <laughs> I'm all ready for Halloween. I don't even have to get a costume because I got something to show you. Watch this. Well, thank you very much. <laughs> that does, it's not even on the sideburn area. There you go. How's that? Oh, well, thank you very much. <laughs> Two shows on Sunday, tip the waitresses. <laughs> well, that's very nice. I thank you. It could be Groucho Marx. Here, there you go. <laughs> well, that's wonderful. I have a question for you. Did you ever hear of this company called Visteon? No. Me either. Let me tell you what about them. It? Yes. Well, they're the second largest automotive systems company in the world. They make things that make your vehicle work. Do you know what I mean? I didn't know either. Basically, it's like audio systems, systems that control heating and cooling in the car and stuff like that, you know? Mm -hmm. Well, this company, they heard about you, and they said they wanted to send you to college. 
So your four years of college is going to be paid for by the Visteon people. Give me a high five on that. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. Now, Jaya, you got to promise me that you're going to get into a really good school <laughs> and stick them with a really big bill. You know what I mean? I'm thinking like Harvard or Yale. What do you think? You think you can do that? How about UCLA? UCLA is good enough for me. <laughs> I'll take that. That's good. So you live in Memphis and you want to go to UCLA. That's a long way away. Yeah. How are you going to get there? Well, maybe if I get my car soon enough, I'll drive it. Well, I think you got it soon enough. Here it is. Thanks to Visteon, they're giving you a brand new Windstar van, fully equipped, so that you can drive it to school. And we want to thank the people at Visteon who make all the things that make an automotive work. Jaya, you're an inspiration to everyone. I thank you for being here. You're allowed to cry. If I want to cry, I'd cry too. There you go, Jaya Cox, ladies and gentlemen. We'll be right back after this break. They didn't write what kind of car it is. I think it's a wind star. <laughs> Our next guest, one of the greatest opera singers of all time. His new CD, Pavarotti and Friends, for Guatemala and Kosovo, is out today. But he's going to sing today one of the most beautiful classical songs, Caro Mio Ben. Please welcome the legendary Mr. Luciano Pavarotti. <laughs> Ready now. We're going to chat with Luciano Pavarotti right after this. Don't go away. <laughs> Pavarotti and friends for Guatemala and Kosovo with the likes of Mariah Carey, Gloria Estefan, Ricky Martin, a whole bunch of people on that CD. What a wonderful thing that that is. That's available now at a record store near you. How are you, sir? I am very well. Very happy to be here with you. And thank you very much for singing. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be your guest. You made publicity to this record. Yes. And this is something very beautiful. It's uh, really, uh, I think it's a good record, but it's very good that everybody buy for ch uh, this is a charity. A good yes, charity. a wonderful thing. That song that you said, Caro Miro Ben, means I cannot live without you. Is that right? Yeah, I kind of. Uh... Yeah. <laughs> and who did you sing that one for? Anyone in particular? Today. Today? Come on, let me know. Uh, for today, to Nicoletta is not here with me because she's, she's out in the city 
uh, with the, the cast of Rent, yes. because Nicoletta is bringing Rent. You know what is Rent? Yes, the, I the do, show the there. Broadway show. Uh, she's bringing it to Italy in Italian. She has cho choose already all the Italian singer, and they are here visiting the city, uh, watching the show. That's why I'm neglected for one day. Oh, so you have to sing a love song. So she'll, yeah. she'll drop it, what she's doing and fly back to see you. Okay. Now, um, I understand that when you call celebrities, they don't believe that it's you on the phone? Uh, I call. <laughs> In order to be able to put together an album like that, I have to call celebrity and uh, sometimes beg them. And at the very end, they come and they are very happy, and I am even more happy. We really enjoy it. At some time, I have to call. So calling, I go through one, two, three, secretary. One, I stop to the first one. Uh, and I say, I am Mr. Pavarotti. And she says, and I am Maria Callas. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least she's quick, though. She's quick, you know? Yeah. When you were a young boy, when you started to study opera, were your parents, did they approve of what you were doing? My father is still now, at the age of 87, a very, very important tenor. He, he says that he has a better voice than mine. And he's well, serious. <laughs> he's very serious. He's very serious. Uh, so you, by imitation, you have to, to try to do what the father does. And he come out pretty good. And uh, yeah, yeah. I'm very happy to be here. Yeah. Did he encourage you to become a singer? At the beginning, no, because I was, uh, at the age of 18, I became an elementary school teacher. And we have to decide if I have to become a, a gymnastic or mathematics professor, either begin to sing. So uh, my father, who being a tenor, understand how difficult was the, the profession, he says, but before become professor, and then we will, uh, you will study. But my mother, you know how the mother are, she says, Oh, Fernando, who is the name of my father, Fernando. He must begin to sing tenor, this boy. Uh, they say, Mama, why? He said, when you are singing, my, my heart is so... I say, Mama, of course, you are my mother. <laughs> <laughs> she says, no, when your father is singing, I am not proof. <laughs> <laughs> he must have loved that, huh? No. no. <laughs> well, no. That's my revenge. Yes, exactly. <laughs> You're singing right now at the Met. You're singing Tosca. Yeah, we're doing Tosca. The 22 is tomorrow, the yes. 27, and the 20, the 30th. The 30th. So we are doing Tosca tonight. Yes. And in the 27 and, and the, the 30th. 30th. Yeah. Excellent. If you've never seen him sing live uh, besides today, you must go do it because it's a phenomenal experience. Pavarotti and friends, all the proceeds go to War Child, which is a wonderful organization, and it's a great, great CD. It's lovely to have you here, sir. It's a great pleasure. Thank you very much. Thank you. We'll be right back with Kay Diggs. Don't go away. Luciano Pavarotti. Still ahead, Cutie Patootie, Tay Diggs. Our next guest caught our attention in Angela Bassett's much younger love interest, not as, when, he was much, whatever. You saw him in when Stella got her groove back. You did, I swear. His new movie, The Best Man, opens today. He's awful cute. Please welcome Tay Diggs. <laughs> What's up? I was telling you, whispering in your ear, I didn't realize that you were in Rent until I read the notes. I was. I don't know why. I saw it twice. You were there. You were great. That's, I'm right there on the cover to play, but there, right there you are. What was I thinking? I don't know, Rosie. And my mind took a holiday once again. Yeah. Well, it's great to have you here. It's great to be here. And uh, how about you in the 50 Most Beautiful People, Mr. Uh, people? How about that? The 50 Most Beautiful. How did that feel? Look at you there. You uh, look, so, look at that. Did that feel nice to be in that? Uh, it was nice to, uh, to feel appreciated. Yeah, yeah, it was cool. Yeah. It was cool. Now, what kind of a kid were you? Were you one of those striking, suave, debonair high I was, school jock kids? I was kids? very shy. I was very nerdy, very oh. skinny. Oh. Uh, I didn't have a lot of uh, confidence. No kidding. True. You weren't all buffed and built like that? No, no. No. no what, what did you, what did you um, want to be when you were a kid? Did you always want to be an actor? 
Uh, I went to uh, the High School of Performing Arts in Rochester. I got a couple of people out there. <laughs> and uh, uh, I kind of just fell into it. It was something that I really enjoyed doing, and then it just uh, made sense to, uh, to make that progression as far as my career was concerned. How about doing a musical when they said you want to audition for Rent? Were you like, yes, I definitely right. want to sing? <laughs> well, nobody knew at the time that it was going to blow up the way it did. Uh, you know, I just wanted a job. It was like $300 a, a week. Uh, I didn't even I didn't even want to sing at first, so I skipped the first two auditions, called in sick, and then finally I was like, all right, let me just go do this thing. And next thing you know, you know, it's it's rent. There it is. Had you been in a musical before that? Oh uh, yeah, I did it in uh, in college, in, in college, high school. Yeah. Because yeah. did you train as a singer? Because you have a I did actually. Voice. I I sang in uh in high school that song that uh Pavarotti was singing, Kakado <laughs> Mio Ben. You did yes. honestly? It, it was much better than than he did. As oh well. really? Lucky uh, for you, he left right. the building. He'll kick your sorry, skinny <laughs> butt all he over. Talks. He I love Isn't it nice? I know. So cool. Wouldn't you love to have an Italian accent like that? I would like to have an Italian accent like him. You see, it's so <laughs> charming. The worst accent is New York. No that matter what, nothing can sound elegant. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's like, you know, would you like to have tea and crumpets? It's like it doesn't, you know, it, hey, would you like to have some tea and crumpets? It's so nice. But right. Everything right. you say, you sound like Rocky meets Fonzie. It's not, you know. <laughs> Where are you from? Where were you born? Uh, upstate New York, upstate. Rochester. Yep. Yeah, upstate New York. Yep, yep, People yep. always claim they're from New York when they're from upstate. But yep. it's not really yep. New York. It's uh, upstate. Yeah. It could be Connecticut. But well, the people you know? not from New York is cool. Yeah, that's true. You could get away with that. <laughs> Tay is pretty a unique name. Did you get teased about that when you were uh, in high school? It's actually just a nickname. My, uh, what, my, my, uh, my best friend's uncle would call me Scott Tay, Scott Tay. So then when I went to uh, college, it just stuck. Scott Tay. Scott Tay. It's nice. Well, thank you. We used to call the Scots Scooter. I wanted that nickname as a, as a kid, but nobody would, would call me it. I'd be like, call me Scooter, call me Scooter. Your name's Scott. No. Yeah, I call all my Scots Scooter. All right. You can call me Scooter. OK, you Scooter. All right. There you go. Just did it. Now, were you, uh, you were in the middle of doing Rent when you got uh, Stella, correct? Right. That must have right. been a little overwhelming for that, you. <laughs> it was. I mean, to go from doing a musical to this huge sure, movie. Sure, sure. Opposite Angela Bassett, yeah. Whoopi you're playing Goldberg. the young, good-looking stud. Right, right. Taking off the shirt, showing a little booty. Exactly. You know? I yeah. stole your honey. <laughs> it was bright and shiny. Uh, uh, you better uh, hide uh, it, because uh, I might bite uh, it. Uh, <laughs> OK. Uh, <laughs> were you embarrassed at the nudity? Were you embarrassed? Uh, I was a little nervous, but mm -hmm. I was like, you know, this opportunity doesn't come along, you know, every day, so right. I'm, I'm going to do what I, whatever I have to do, you know. Yeah, you didn't care? No. You also no. worked at Disneyland. You're not supposed to say that, but Why not? Cool. Why aren't it's, you uh, it's embarrassing. Oh, it is? Yes. No, you want to hear embarrassing, Tay? Or Scooter? <laughs> I auditioned and didn't make it. <laughs> not kidding you. When I was at college, oh, no. I auditioned to be in the Disneyland to work there, and I didn't get in. Oh, well, look at you now. I know, but still, I wish I could have been dressed up in a little outfit down Main Street, the oh, Magical Light no. Parade, whatever. <laughs> what did you get to be? What were you? I worked uh, at this, it was Tokyo Disneyland, uh, and I was a, a, a Caribbean singer at Sebastian's Caribbean Carnival. Wow. Yes. Can you give me a little of the... With, uh, with ruffles and Can you give me a little of the Caribbean hat. song or something? Can you give me a... Uh, what was, what did we... It wasn't it was, in Japanese, it was the, A little bit of, some of it was. We'd come out and we'd go, Mina de utate kurasai. You know what that means? No. It Can means I? everybody uh, sing along. Together. Everybody. Okay. <laughs> and then give me a little of the song. Come on, I want to hear uh, it. Come on. <laughs> I know you remember it. You must have done it 44 times a day. Come on, tell, give me a little. Uh, it was Deo. In Japanese? In English, but to a bunch of Japanese people. So, Let's hear know. it, just a little. Come of on. Deo? Just a little. Deo! 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 That, that meant, that meant, that meant, that meant good, good job, y'all. Suwarashi, man! Suwarashi, man! So you watch a lot of TV? Oh, she had me sing Deo on, on TV. I know, it was good. They answered back. That's They're a helpful cute. crowd, aren't they? All uh, right. Scooter. Scooter. You watch a lot of TV? I do. I do. I'm a big fan of TV. Yeah. You your, are as well. Yeah, what's your favorite show? Uh, nighttime. I, I like, uh, oh, Nighttime? I, I like Friends, I gotta say. I friends, like friends, big Friends I like Friends. How old are you, if mind if I ask? You've 26. No, You've no gray hair. You're 26. 26 You're a baby. I'm 37. Oh, really? You look well. When I was in high school, you were in elementary school. Uh, Think about that, Scooter. Uh, Come on, you little uh, tongue. <laughs> You're just a little kid. I wouldn't have even... Oh, sorry. Sorry. Yeah. 
You okay? It's good. Is that all right? I'm all right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you have a new movie out? The Best Man, yeah. And are you the best man? I, I am I am he. And yeah. tell everybody what it's about. Uh, it's basically about a, a bunch of friends gathering together, dealing with each other. I play a writer. Uh, I write this book loosely based on my uh, college life. Uh, all these college friends I'm meeting at this wedding where I'm the best man. Uh, all these friends got to hold the book. They read it. Some, some scandals are unveiled, and uh, it puts the wedding in jeopardy. We have a clip? We do have a clip. Do you know we what it do is? Have do you need clip. to set it up, or is that enough? Uh, uh, the clip is, is me. Uh, I have a girlfriend, but then I left her at home for the weekend. Uh, she's on the phone, and I run into uh, an ex, like, past flame of mine, and it, it, it gets a little awkward. All right, chaos ensues. Scooter Diggs, take a look. <laughs> <laughs> you know I'm not trying to, um, oh, my God. Um, oh, my God. Oh, oh, my God, look at the time. I got to, I got to get out of here. Okay, I love you. What? I said I love you. Uh, all right, well, I gotta go. So, uh, I'll see you, baby, okay? <laughs> morning. Good morning. I'm, uh, I'm gonna be a little second. I'm gonna be a second. Chop, chop, time is money. Nice boxers. Scooter Diggs, ladies and gentlemen. Totally busted, I assume, in that, right? <laughs> totally busted. Right. Well, it's lovely to see you. The movie opens today, being Friday, even though it's really Thursday. Don't tell right. anyone. Okay. And um, <laughs> congratulations and much success with it. Thank you. It's great to have you back. It's a pleasure to be here. Tay Diggs, right. don't go away. The boob game up next. Luckily, we're not live, because look what's happening. <laughs> the men are there with the ladder trying to fix the curtain. You see, what you guys didn't realize is that... Okay. Ray is obviously upset. I'm not going to interrupt him, because when he's that tone of voice, you let him do what he needs. All right, that's okay. That's all right. Just take your time. Hi, Jackie. Hi. Nice to see you. We're still rolling. They're just going to fix it, and it's going to be fine. Because if you interrupt Ray when he's in that... Move it over to translate. <laughs> Okay, whenever you guys are done, we have all the time in the world. How are you, Jack? Good. <laughs> Good to see you. Are you frightened of those men yelling back there? Oh, no, no. I can handle that. You'll be fine. They'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> all righty, close the curtain. There you go. Wasn't that exciting? Yeah. Thank you, everyone. All right. All month long, Jack. We've been giving out information regarding breast cancer awareness, so it's time to play the boob game. Look at the boob that we made. Isn't that enjoyable? Please welcome Jackie Diamond, who will play our big boob game and try to answer 10 questions about breast health. If you can get at least seven right, you and the audience wins this beautiful coach watch. Look at that. <laughs> Sit down, Jack. Sit right on the boob. Oh, comfy. How are you? Great. Good. How old are you? I'm 41. 41, you're a breast cancer survivor? Yes. Excellent. Give me a high five on that. All right, Jack. Here's the watch. I'm gonna let you hold it for inspiration. Okay. If you win it, it's yours. Okay. It's got a little of my sweat on it. Let me just lean back on the nipple. Okay. <laughs> all right. The, the first few are easy, okay? There's no time limit because, frankly, Ray wasted all our time fixing the curtain. Here we go. Spell breast. B-R-E-A-S-T. Okay, that was an easy one. We gave you one. Okay. This is a sort of riddle one. What type of bra would Wonder Woman wear? A Wonder Bra. There you go. Stop <laughs> cheating! I didn't hear him. <laughs> this is a $200 watch, and I will not give it away. <laughs> Number three, true or false, most women with breast cancer do not have a family history. True. That's right, true. If your mother was diagnosed with breast cancer at age 38, what is the recommended age that you start getting mammograms? 10 years before the age she was diagnosed. Excellent, Jackie. That's really great that you know that. What is a biopsy? 
Uh, when they check a lump in the breast to see if it is cancerous? Yes, it's taking a small part of um, lump out of the breast to see if they're cancerous. Jack, you're kicking butt. Five, right. Two more and they get the watch. True or false, breastfeeding does not lower your risk of breast cancer. Does not lower. Uh, true? Does it says false, but it's a oh. double negative. Yeah, I didn't understand Does the not question. lower. It's false. It does lower it? See, oh, I, I got, got that, that one wrong, wrong too. <laughs> okay, for a bonus point, point to my breast. <laughs> got it, there you go, give her a point. Okay. How often should you get a mammogram? Um, after age 40 every year. Come on, Jackie! You got them all right, but we got actually, you got it right, they won, but we're gonna do the other so that people can get the information out. When performing a self-breast exam, you should also check under your arms and your rib cage. True. That is true, because breast tissue goes all the way there. True or false, most women diagnosed with breast cancer lose their breasts? False. That is false, exactly right. And what percentage of breast biopsies are benign? 90%. Um, Almost, 80%, so we're oh. gonna give you a point for that. 10 okay. out of 10, Jackie! Thank you very much. We'll be right back after this break. Don't go away. This is the very first, a very rosy Christmas CD that I did for charity. Won't be out till November. A woman in the audience works for Sony, and she gave it to me. I signed it. It's going up on eBay.com today. We'll see you on Monday, and don't forget the um, don't forget anything. Forget it. We'll do it. <laughs> you don't know that. Obviously, this show I've been a little bit off, and frankly, I don't have an excuse. I didn't have Robitussin before the show. I don't have a head cold. I'm just losing it. <laughs> We'll see you on Monday. Today's really Thursday, and that's part of the reason why I'm confused. Goodbye.